This video is to demonstrate the Windows control panel configurations for your recorder. First we'll open up the control panel. Switch to the small icons view so we can see everything we need. And now we'll disable user account control settings. This is not lowering the security of the system. This is to eliminate the user account control warnings that interrupt installations, changes, and general configurations. This is an example of a user account control settings warning. Now back to the control panel we're going to go ahead and change the power configurations as well. Here are power options. These are the default settings. We don't want our recorder to ever stop. So we're going to switch this over to high performance and then change the details of the plan. We need to change the advanced configurations. Here for hard drive, we are going to say never turn off the hard drives. We're going to do the same for USB. This applies to external hard drives as well as our USB licensing key. So if we remove the ability for Windows to suspend power to the USB, we'll know it stays running. The next thing we want is to be able to see everything in our system. So we're going to change the folder options, view settings, to allow visibility of everything in our system that we need. Here on the view tab, we're going to show hidden files, folders, and drives. We're not going to allow hidden drives or file extensions so we can ID the type of file it is. Next, due to the fact that we'll be recording and accessing the system needing several ports open, we're going to disable the firewall. This brings up the Action Center, where Windows warns you of configurations that it may find harmful to your system. However, those warnings can be ignored.